Hey, this is Kelsey, not Chelsea, not live. I am Kelsey Mackey, and this is not anger. It's disappointment. Thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me here on my channel. I am going to be talking to you today once again about those first few steps into a brand new project. Oh my gosh, I just coughed so much. Whew. Okay, back to business. I think that one of the very best things about the fact that every career has downs as well as ups is those downs are where you learn so much about who you are, about the kind of strengths that you have, about your ability to be resilient and to persevere, and that's awesome. So today I wanna to talk just for a second about something that is sometimes kind of scary when you're at the beginning of a project. Once you have started to pile together that first little mound of words and you no longer have, you know, like double digit word count, you're in the hundreds or maybe even the thousands. You have amassed a little collection and it's not nothing anymore. That page is no longer blank. It can be super, super, super scary to delete them. The whole moral of the story, the thing that I keep learning again and again and again is whatever it is that's got you stuck, you can't be stuck because of fear. You can't make decisions about your book, about your project, about your painting, about your song, about your album, about whatever it is that you do, right? Whatever it is that you make, whatever it is the thing that you spend your time and your heart working on. You can't make your decisions about that thing based on fear. I'm talking about those times when you have a knot in the pit of your stomach that something is actually off. Sometimes you're just afraid to take a step backwards because you don't want to have to start from zero words again. You want to keep having 5,000 words. 5,000 words is a lot more words than zero words. Math. My strong suit. Nope, it isn't. You know the writer saying about kill your darlings? That's what that means. It means the things that you set apart in your mind as precious and unmovable and sacred aren't. In order to do this job, nothing can be sacred. Nothing can be immovable except for possibly the core nugget of truth or the purpose or the mission statement. Maybe those things are truly immovable and that's probably a good thing. But there is some real value in being willing to examine your story from a few other perspectives. Especially when you're in the development phase, being willing to consider things aside from your original plan, that's a good thing. That's being willing to let the energy of the story have a role in its creation. Now, that is a little bit of a like hoobajoob, like, mystical perspective. I acknowledge this. But I don't know too many writers who feel like they can just muscle through the creative process. Most of the creators that I know believe that there's a little bit of a sense of like, this feels right, this feels good. I'm doing, I'm doing the thing that I should be doing in order for this story to be successful. So if you are not feeling that smooth forward momentum, it could just be that you haven't done the work yet. It could be that you haven't done enough planning yet. Or it could be that you're trying to force your story to stay in the box of your original design rather than allowing the creative energy to flow in and actually make some adjustments. Sometimes those adjustments, even if they're not what you expected, are absolutely amazing. And they shouldn't be pushed aside just because they're not what you thought your first plan would be. So I hope that this conversation is helping you to be brave and to take a new approach at what you're working on. Thank you so, so much for being here on my channel with me. As always, come find me online at Kels Not Chels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the places you know how to do the internet. This is not brand new information.
so you know the deal about this and the this and the ding and so you go ahead and click the buttons and type the words and tell me what you thought of this video in the box below and I will see you there. And I'll be back again very, very soon with another video. So thank you guys for being here today and I'll see you soon. There's hair in my eyeball. What if I go blind? I can't stop it in. This is the best way to end the video, I say. Gross out whoever is still watching the end once the video is reduced to requests for likes and comments and then weird them out by touching your eyeball. That's just how we do things here at Kels Not Chels Not Live. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.